courtside here at Bud Walton Arena in front of a raucous crowd here in Fayetteville, Arkansas, where the Arkansas Razorbacks look to make it three in a row on the young season against Scott Frost and the UT Arlington Mavericks. To steal and take it to the length of the floor, but missing the easy one. Drew Charles hits from deep. But you got to look at the starting five on the floor. Behind for Arlington. Leads it off the iron and offensive board for the Mavericks. Now Jones left open and he cans it home. <laughs> It quickly up Mike the floor Anderson. to Neal. A lob to Pope. He can't tip it in. And now here come the Hogs. Great defensive transition by Arkansas. Able to get in and force a tough shot. Barford, a tough look. And he lays it in. And the that, first basket of the night for Arkansas. The and that's what the Hogs... Here's Jones again from the corner, from the wing. And it's long. But another offensive board. Barford in transition. Looking for Macon. He slices through the defense and lays it home. But you see, the, you see the tempo the and the way the game's go. Now here is Hawkins. He slices to the rim and lays it home. All right, bigger part, and that's freshman D.J. Bryant. Arkansas just doing a poor job right there with their help side defense. Manny Watkins with the floater. Yes. And the senior stepping, stepping up there. Away, but the right there, it. taking it up strong, leaves it long. Orlando Cook trying to track it down, but Kevin Hervey will carry it up the floor. In transition, looking for Wilson for the corner. He got that one as well. Boy, this team can really shoot the ball from beyond the perimeter. Yeah. Wilson on the baseline drive. Sends it out. Hervey a long three. He got it. <laughs> Kevin Hervey, who hit two triples in the game against Gulf Coast, knocks down his first of the night, and it's a 22-6 lead for UTA. And Coach talked about this Hervey kid, and he just said, man, the, the kid is it, it, just a great player. He has that NBA-type talent. Watkins on the razor back end. Wilson Stop on the Maverick Kicking it out to wide open shooters. There was Cook with the hook shot. No good. Thompson with the offensive glass. He draws a small village underneath. Gets the deuce and the damage. And he led to the strike for another one. Utility man. And Arkansas Maverick really. Club. Harris takes it to the rack. Kingsley <laughs> swats it away. I don't know if he'll get credit well, for the swat, but the crowd like. Now a battle for the basketball. Barford picks it up. And here comes Kingsley. And is left open from the left wing. He got it. That's the kind of shot you need to be taking if you're Dusty Hannes. Wide open. Down a little bit, looking for their shot. Hannes will penetrate, finds a cutting Kingsley. Two hands for safety. Timeout, and UTA. Shot clock. You see how that Deal. play was. Price. Extra pass to Charles for three. He gets it to go. And big shot by Charles. And UTA Arlington, they needed that shot. And it's a long three. Oh. Yes! That one was from NBA range. <laughs> that is showing you. <laughs> He's talking Arkansas to Charles a little bit on four. the... Texas Arlington led by as many as 17 at one point. They extend their advantage back to seven. After that, th the runner in the lane gets the shooter's roll off that soft iron. And Barford, he, he just it's makes it look front so easy. And he's now Neal goes the other way quickly. They can hold for the last shot, but... They won't because Drew Charles cans that one. Boy. And, and Neil just doing a good job of pushing it Kingsley. down. You saw Charles. Quiet tonight as well. They need to get him going. Here's Thomas with the long two. Yes. And like we said about Thomas, he has the ability to extend the floor and face up and knock down long range shots. 43 35. UT Arlington up by eight. They led by as many as 17 at the 12 37 mark of the first half. Now Hannah's on a pick. Uses Macon. The lay-in is good. Arkansas down by six. The play in regulation. 45-39. Here's Thomas with a long two. He leaves it right of the iron. Now Barford takes it back and he lays it in. And right there, you, if you're Dustin Thomas, you got to recognize that Arkansas Moses King was a lot of turnovers from UT Arlington here. Here's Barford with a three. Yes, he got it. And the Hawks have pulled within one. And I think this is what these fans from Arkansas have been waiting for, waiting to see out of Barford. Well, here's a kid that led it, you know, ju number one Juco player. Here he and goes. There he goes. The flex hit down on Barford. Raising the Razorback fans on their feet. Jalen Barford. First lead by as of many the as night 17. for the Ra they led by 11 at the half, and now Arkansas with their largest lead of the night of four after the Anton Beard trip out of Hannes is yeah, in here. If Kingsley is not having a strong offensive game, Barford has <laughs> Anton Beard putting his name in that offensive category as well. He is from D. Bear is like, what about me? Yeah, exactly. I've been on this team longer. 
But it's now a 52-45 lead. Neal trying to cut into it and will big with shot. a big triple. Yeah, big shot by Neal. That's the quiet half, crowd. late in the half, where a lot of guys are tired. Hannes, he scores a lot of his points. With two Turn seconds the on the, the shot clock, Anton Beard takes it to the left of the rack and lays it in. More of an even match there as it's been moved by Bryant. Sends it out looking for Jones for three. Got it. We got a tie game at 54 with 5.44 to play. And UT Arlington not going away. Kingsley back in the game with four fouls. Barford has been the star here in the second half. Thomas a lob down low to Kingsley, draws a crowd, lays it in. And that's what Thomas was supposed to do earlier. Kingsley had his guy isolated down low. You got to get the big guy the ball. The preseason SEC player of the year. Now Barford with a pick. He takes it to the rim and slams it home. And Hervey. Right now. Well, the pressure employed by Scott Cross, and it works out to perfection because Eric Neal picks the pocket of Dustin Ball Thomas and lays it in. Charles. Charles back with it now on the right wing. Pass intercepted. Here comes Manny Watkins in pursuit of Jones. A left-handed layup is good. He's going to the line for another. And good job by Watkins. He just baited UT Arlington into that play. If you look at them on the defense. Inside of two minutes to play. Arkansas up now by just five after that little roller. Oh, Trying to make it a one-possession game, it. can't do it. Bill Bow with the offensive chance. Hervey left open for three. He can do this and will. <laughs> and just made it look so easy, just so calm. Beard around the screen. Fade away long two, and the left-handed shot is good. And that's exactly what Arkansas wanted the to do. They half. want to work the ball. Neal almost turned it over there. Pulls up for three, straight away. He got it. <laughs> big time players, hey, a big first time shot. That's He's now got 16 up. points on the night. Three for five from the strike this evening. His next one, good as well. Just had one. He having a heck of a night. Solid, solid play from him all around. 13 of his 17 points have come in the second half. Neal, can he do it again? No, left iron. Neal again. Has it lost? Recollects it. Draws a double team. Ball tipped away by Beard. Bilbao now with it. Gets it to Charles. Charles for three. It's short. The tip in no good by Bilbao. Beard with the rebound. And Arkansas <laughs> holds on. <laughs> Great ball game. Great ball game by both teams. 71-67 the final score. Arkansas improves to 3-0 on the young season. And another difficult.